So I remember when the 2016 Ghostbusters movie was coming out, they re-released uh, Ecto Coolers. And um, I bought a bunch the day they came out. I happened to be working at a, uh, a supermarket at the time. I even did like a little review on how much the Ecto Cooler uh, tasted just like the original and how it was better than sex and all that stuff. Um, so in the refrigerator, and I just didn't even remember, <clears throat> I had saved one. Saved one right here. Now the expiration date on here um, does say that it expired uh, January of 2017. Um, but I am really thirsty right now. And I saw this, and I feel like this is going to be very thirst-quenching. Um, so, if you'll be with me on this journey to drink my last ecto-cooler, I don't even know if they're still in stores, um, but this is the last ecto-cooler. I've had this for, I don't know, two years maybe. <sighs> Bottoms up. Mmm. I still stand by that this drink is better than the movie. And I know you're like, how can a drink, a beverage, be better than a movie that actually made money? Well, I don't know the statistics on how much money Ecto Cooler made as far as profits go. But I can tell you that the 2016 Ghostbusters movie, while it made money, technically lost money uh, because it didn't even make enough to... Um, <clears throat> to even out. It didn't even make its budget back. So that's why I'm saying this is better than the movie. Nothing to do with women. Or really the actresses, really. It has to do with the director. The script. Because almost everything in that thing was in the movie was improv. Which means that you're not getting people around the table thinking, what's the funniest thing we could put here? We're just going to do what we do, and then we'll see what's funny and what we can use. The story was really bad, too. I hated the stupid jokes. Living above a Chinese food with one wonton in her, in her soup all the time. I hated all the stereotypical stuff, like... I know they're trying to say that other things are stereotypical and that's what they're playing off of. Fine. But the Ghostbusters movie would never use stereotypical characters. Janine wasn't a blonde bimbo. So why is Chris Hemsworth a blonde bimbo? I also didn't really like that queef joke in the beginning. But I also don't like fart jokes. So it could just be me. The song was terrible too. Whatever remix it did to that song was just horrendous and I still think that they killed people at the end of the movie I do think the Ghostbusters killed people at the end of that movie I don't remember I saw it once Chris Hemsworth was possessed by a guy and he turned all these civilians and cops and everybody into ghosts so I don't know if he killed them and then they were ghosts or if he just made them possessed by evil spirits but the Ghostbusters were just mowing them down with all their new technology and their gadgets and everything. And it was just like, I, I really think that the Ghostbusters killed people in that movie. And just like the, the period, the exclamation point at the end of that sentence was they shot the ghost in the crotch. Was it an accident? Maybe. But I mean, there's four women shooting a laser beam or four proton packs and right into the thing, right into the ghost's crotch. Good for Slimer though, for getting a girl. Way better than Capri Suns. Way better than Squeeze It's. It's the greatest drink of all time. Thank you, High C. Thank you, Ecto Cooler. Thank you, Ghostbusters. Thank you.